Eh, don't you hate it when you get a pop song stuck in your head, only it's playing in reverse? How the fuck did I get a song stuck in my head that was playing in reverse? I, it's not even the original way that I was going. It's the song in reverse that's playing through my head right now. If you look on my second channel, the Magic Rude Reversed with Lyrics video, unless that hasn't been taken down yet, if you look at that, that's what's stuck in my head right now. It's a song in reverse. It's not the, it's not, why you gotta be so rude? No, it's, ooh, horsey pregnant. That's stuck in my head. Not fucking the actual song, no. It's the song in reverse stuck in my head. Like, how does that even happen? I'm impressed. I gotta say, I gotta give these guys credit. They have been able to get a song that's so catchy that it's catchy in reverse. You can literally play it backwards, and it's just as catchy as it is forward. Actually, it's even more catchy in reverse, because I've listened to the song forwards a couple of times, and it still hasn't gotten stuck in my head as often as it does in reverse. It's unbelievable, but that might just be because I did the reverse lyrics video to it. Because that's what happened when I tried to do the Don't Stop Believing in the King Saves the Universe. Because, like, it took me, like, three weeks to get that to, to be finished. And, uh, over that course of time, I guess I memorized how to sing the song. In fact, I will do it now. Miss Small Town Girl! Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit She took the midnight train going anywhere Oh, a singer in a smoky room A smell of wine and cheap perfume For a smile they can share the night It goes on and on and on and on Strangers Waiting up and down the boulevard, their shadows searching in the night. Street lights, people living just to find a motion hiding somewhere in the night. Working hard to get my fill Everybody wants a thrill Give up anything to roll the dice Just one more time Some will win Some will lose Some born to sing the blues Oh, the movie never ends, it goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, strangers waiting up and down the boulevard, their shadows searching in an I.E.I. Street lights, people living just fine in motion. Hiding somewhere in the night. Alright, so fuck me. I was just talking to myself for the past whole entire goddamn minute. And you didn't get a second of it. So I fucking fantastic. So, that came unplugged while I was recording, so I had to completely render that entire video. Then I had to restart the recording, and I had to turn on the goddamn microphone because that shit wasn't on. So, basically, what I'm saying is, we are only going to do test sessions in the Nationwide series, or any other series for that matter, if it's a short track. And I'm going to speed up the footage, like this.
And this will be the way that we will be doing those contract test session bullshit. It ain't going to be any track that's any longer than a half a mile. Because this just is a waste of goddamn time and I don't feel shit, so. Ugh. Fuck you, seriously. Why does that shit have to happen? At least I could have done for myself was go get a smoothie while I was not recording. It'd be nice if one materialized right next to me, though. So fantastic. Oh, would you look at that! I said when you weren't listening that this song has played every single time I've gone in the menu. And guess what? It's fucking playing again! Stop your shit! I don't give a fuck about your goddamn dog! I don't give a fuck about your goddamn yard! I don't give a fuck if you're fucking taking it up the ass with Willy Wonka! I don't give a shit! Play something else! I haven't heard Blood Red yet. That's a good song on this game. That you could play instead of that. How about, um, how about you play Diary of Jane any other time besides immediately when you're starting and no other time? Breaking Benjamin's like cool and stuff. Or they were like in 2004. Like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Just like the Red Hot Chili Peppers who were popular in 2004. And probably everyone forgot about them until they played at the Super Bowl. And you can't hear me, and I apologize, but that's just my um, deep thought voice. My thought provoking voice. Hi, Stu Floyd. I drove your car for a year. You weren't worthy enough to drive that car. In, my, in one of my NASCAR 07 saves, Dale Jarrett retired. And then I signed a contract to drive his car, and when that contract was up, they put Dale Jarrett back in the car. Which was pretty cool of them. Dale Jarrett's awesome. And now it's like 2026, I think, is the max time limit in that game. And um, Dale Jarrett's still racing, which is realistic. Yes, that was pretty good for a minute. Not even. It's actually less than a minute. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, I don't give a shit about your complaining whiny ass. Oops, I just hit my microphone. That probably sounded very nice. And my throat's an absolute wreck from all this shouting. Good thing I don't have a smoothie. Why is this race on Wednesday? Ah, huh, so I guess this race has always been on Wednesday. Guess that Bristol race has always been on a Wednesday. I remember in kindergarten when my kindergarten teacher told us that we had to learn how to spell August. And she was like, and I'm like, well, I don't know how to spell August. And she was like, if you don't know how to spell August, just spell Augusta and put the, and don't write the A at the end. And I'm like, bitch, I can't spell Augusta either. Just, <laughs> oh, I could talk about that for so long. I mean, it's the only life experiences that I've had. Oh, shit. I just realized where we were. Um, can I please qualify in this race? I just stick to the inside. And I'll hit everyone, but... Hey, the people on the outside will... all fall back. 